Guys, today we are looking at another compact scooter option. We have the Mantis 8 model from Kabu. This is a fast and rider friendly commuter. It is a downsized Mantis 10 version, but with a perfect balance of power, handling, suspension and brakes. I think the specs are spot on, balanced frame, 8 inch wider wheels looks really cool, rides butter smooth and size to meet the demand of the majority of the riders who are not looking for crazy fast rides or bulky big heavy scooters. Mantis 8 is smaller, lighter to fit perfectly in your office without catching too much attention or apartment entrance with a nimble super quiet ride that will be easy to take on a train, bus or inside of any car. I would like to compare Mantis 8 with boosted Rev scooter. The Rev model gained so much popularity in New York City, I feel like this model was built to survive New York City streets. But the biggest problem was the lack of suspension. And this is the most important and the most difficult part to successfully implement in a compact scooter frame and so important for New York City street. You guys know how New York City streets are. Potholes and cracks, manholes everywhere. You have to have suspension. I think Kabu nailed it with the Mantis 8 design and I think this is what Boosted should have released for the perfect last mile vehicle. So guys, there are two versions of the Mantis 8, the base model and the 8 Pro version. I have here the base model. Let's dive into the specs and see what Mantis 8 has to offer. So we have here two dual hubs rated 500 watts each, maximum output 2200 watts, battery capacity is 13 amps at 48 volts, this scooter can climb up to 20 degrees in a dual mode. Range. They advertise 25 miles on the website. The three speed settings and the third speed, the maximum speed, I got 13 miles in range and I still had one line on the battery left on display. I weigh 210 pounds and I think this is a really good result. Top speed reached on the flats 45 km an hour, that's 27 miles and boosted rev I only get 23-24 miles an hour and only between 7 to 9 miles in range. And you can see here really big difference in specs between these two models. And maximum load 264 pounds or 120 kilograms. And I think for this size scooter the results are really good. I like the upgraded console and buttons. We have turning signals on a scooter at this price level. Even Mantis 10 Pro does not have this upgrade. Scooters in this price level or higher lack turning signals and I think this should be a standard implemented for all portable electric vehicles. We have a horn button but it's not active and we're missing the horn. Not sure if this will be implemented in the future models or they just use this fancier module or if you can purchase one and add it by yourself. We have a very nice integrated bell here that works just fine. Anyway, these upgrades make the scooter feel more premium and increases safety for city riding which is very important. I really like this compact version and I hope we can see more coming upgrades. Mantis 8, like the 10 version, can be switched in different driving or speed settings. You can choose single motor power output or dual when needed to go faster or conquer bigger hills. We also have the eco option, very useful for cruising at lower speeds and getting the extended range. Mantis 8 frame is forged out of 6 grade aluminum that is lighter and much more rigid than steel. With the addition of turning signals, Mantis 8 has a pretty exceptional package for riders looking for a commuter friendly, comfortable, speedy scooter. With such a solid build, quiet and comfortable ride, mechanical brakes that can be upgraded to hydraulics for only 89 US dollars. I'll add links description box so if you want to do that you can go ahead and order from Amazon. If you like to add a special touch this is a really good upgrade. With all these additional upgrades Mantis 8 is a pretty exceptional package for riders looking for commuter friendly comfortable speedy scooters. The dual spring suspension is very firm and provides good dampening for New York City bad roads that will increase the comfort and will make up for a fun ride every day. Here's a size comparison between NAMI and Mantis 8. I really like how the tires are 8 inches, really compact, but if you look here, they're so much wider. Really helps with the potholes and bad terrain. I'll flip the tire in front so you can see. And the fender, look how much it covers. And here in the back I need to mention, you don't need the extender. It covers pretty well, the entire tire, beautifully done, really compact, really well balanced uh, 
they didn't just uh, reduce the size, they really thought the suspension was inserted there, really crammed it in and actually works well for the city. The battery has a decent size, pretty good range and uh, for somebody who's looking for a compact scooter, this is a very good option. Also my dumbbells that I actually work out daily, here's the bike that will be reviewed this week, stay tuned for that. So yeah, this is the size comparison, 104 pounds and this is 50 plus pounds. In conclusion, to me Mantis 8 is a solid commuting scooter, light and nimble, easy to use with a lot of options making up for a super smooth ride. After riding it for a while in New York City, nothing came close to this model, feels solid and the quality of the build is great, easy to fold and fold, park it in your apartment or office, getting inside a bus or train is so much easier than the 10 version or bigger scooters. If you're looking for a compact but good performance scooter, Mantis 8 is your best bet. So guys, this was my review of the Mantis 8 model. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to share it. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll make sure I'll follow up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.